have to charge out all of them again. <laughs> Wanna try it again, Chris? Yep. Oh, yeah. Can Richie be converted? You, you got it. <laughs> it feels like, oh, I don't want to take the photo. He's got it. That's it, he's got it. Oh, man. That does feel weird. It feels like you're falling through the air. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh. oh, that is cool. It's massive. I think I'm too small for it. I don't have anything going on. Get the Blue Ridge in the back. Can you? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> that looks good. Yeah. Quick is holding it. <laughs> Morning folks, how are we doing? Welcome to day three. So we did the Skyline drive last night. Yeah, you didn't see the last bit because battery ran out. But we did the last 20 miles of the Skyline drive with no fuel whatsoever, pitch black, doing twice the speed limit, hoping to God there were no deer around any of the corners. And we've just been told by our friend Chris, who's come to meet us, that there's also bears. And when he came through it, there was a bear in the middle of the road. Shit, if we'd have known that, I wouldn't have been going that fast. And that panic mode would have set in even more then because we'd have been thinking, if we run out of fuel here, and a bear comes. Anyway, so this is Chris. Chris is bad boy. He's gonna ride with us a little bit today on the Blue Ridge Parkway. We're gonna do about 300 miles on the Blue Ridge Parkway today, and then hop off onto the motorway, the last bit of it, so we can uh, shoot down and meet Manny in Asheville. Meet crazy Manny. Yeah, so today should be a good day. We should have some nice views today, all day. 300 miles on the Blue Ridge Parkway today. Good, good, excellent. Should all be good. Imagine knowing that, that this bear's on there, knowing you that we've got no fuel. You showed a picture of the black bear. No. Oh, no, we've we seen see a picture of it. We've got a picture of the black bear that's out there. Shit. And it's only a small one, so mommy could have been there as well. If we'd have run out of fuel on there, knowing that this bear's there. <laughs> Let's have a look at this. Oh my god. I'd have crap myself if I'd have seen that. <laughs> that was our uh, little motel room last night. <laughs> so I'll put some dodgy music to that and make it look... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Egon, we should have done that thingy. Oh, it's you. <laughs> yeah, we got you back, Gary. <laughs> Morning, folks. Well, the group's changed again, look. So we've got uh, Chris joining us now. Came for a few drinks last night with us. When you watch this back, sir, you will... Uh, yeah, we apologise for keeping you waiting for seven hours or whatever it was. <laughs> but it was worth it. Sheets! He's a lovely bloke, isn't he, Chris? He's the youngest 55-year-old I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, isn't he just? We all good? Yeah! Well, he's going to take us onto Parkway and then uh, he's going to stay with us for about 80 miles where we're going to have our first break at the, peak, the Peaks of Otter um, Lodge, what uh, Dave was telling us about. He's going to stay there, have a coffee and a break with us and then he's going to spin around and go home and we, we'll, uh, we'll carry on flying down the Parkway for another 200 mile. It's like having a police escort. Yeah. It, well, we have got a police escort, haven't yeah. we? <laughs> and one tomorrow as well, yeah. We've got ourselves a police escort. <laughs> <laughs> hey lads, check this out. Last night, you know when you'd all gone to bed, I was just having a quick chat with Chris outside and that. I gave him a hug and that. I said, thank you mate for coming to meet us. I really appreciate it. I hugged him and I went, have I, have I just felt your gun in your pocket? 
he went, he went, he, he says, yes, you have. <laughs> and he's, he's got his gun down his pocket. No Can you hear? Way. Yeah. Football. I shit myself because I just thought, I just thought, you don't, you don't know. I mean, obviously he's a no. nice bloke, but you know, it could be anybody with a gun, couldn't it? He just got it, got it in his jacket, and it, then he showed me his police badge as well. I was singing country roads to myself all day yesterday around Skyline, though. <laughs> Shenandoah River. Not in the dark, surely. No, yeah, not in the dark. <laughs> all I was, all I was saying in the dark was, please, please yeah. finish, please finish Skyline. <laughs> God, had I known there were bears on there, I'd have been even worse. Yeah. Well, Egon said, "Are the bears on here?" I said, "No." There's no bears on here, otherwise there'd be signs saying so. There's only like signs saying deer, so there can't be any bears. <laughs> Chris turns up with a picture of one that he saw on it <laughs> hours earlier. It was just like, you know, we asked him if he got his gun and he just went, yes, I have. <laughs> <laughs> it's hazy this morning. It Might get some nice uh, shots up there then of the haze sitting in valley. It'd be interesting to see if the bike misbehaves, having that shitty fuel in. Yeah. If we get above this mist up there, that'll be amazing for photos. <laughs> Blue Ridge Parkway. There we go. 500 feet ahead, boys. Shenandoah National Park. That's it. We're on it. Yep. Well, hey. Scale. I have to get a photo here. Photo, photo! Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, folks. Check us out. Entrance to the Blue Ridge Parkway. On them. <laughs> Bloody hell. Still a little bit surreal that these bikes are here. And it just <laughs> crazy. How long did you have to research to find that? Uh, it took a while, and I went through a few different options. But as soon as I realised that you could put it on the plane, and with no hassle really, you know, some companies make you take wheels off and they crate it open. You know, it's a real nightmare. But this was just. Disconnect your battery with no fuel in. Simple, that's it. It just took about 14 days to get it off the frigging customs afterwards. Well, five hours, a little bit. Exaggerating a little bit. Look at that view, looks amazing. You ready, Steve? Let's do the Blue Ridge Parkway, boys! Oh, log! Wow! <laughs> Remind me again why we went to the trouble of bringing our own bikes to America. That's why. Oh, baby, baby! Just look at this, man oh man! I wonder why they call them the Blue Ridge Mountains. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it becomes quite apparent when you sit up here looking at it, doesn't it? We could do with a, a little like pannier sticker of the Blue Ridge, couldn't we? Yeah, definitely. If we find it at a souvenir shop, that would be lovely. We could do with a sticker for doing that route last night in the fastest time, I think, as well. <laughs> 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 I felt like I was on the cannon, you know, the cannon run or cannonball for anything. Yeah. <laughs> Are we stopping? <laughs> Jesus. That's beautiful. Oh, 
Start the bike, stop the bike, start the bike, stop the bike. <laughs> One of the main things we came here for, well there's many things that we came here for actually, but we just got on the Blue Ridge Parkway, 460 mile long through the Shenandoah Valley into North Carolina. Just look at this, ready? I wonder why they call them the Blue Ridge Mountains. Look at the glow on that. That's what we came here for. We made it, Rick. So. Look at that, what a view, they beautiful. Yeah, and the sun's shining, it's going to be a beautiful day. Looking forward to this. Yeah. <laughs> Just going to take some more in. Chris! <laughs> Bad. Put your feet in. Yeah, sure. That's strange, isn't it? Ah. <laughs> that doesn't feel like part of the slipper job, isn't it? Getting used to it. Doesn't it fall through there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Radio on, pipe and slippers. Okay, ready? Beautiful. It's amazing where these side stands take you. Used to, it's nice because you change your leg position and bring it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Charge out all of them to go. <laughs> Wanna try it again, Chris? Yep. Oh, yeah. Can Richie be converted? You, need, you, you got it. <laughs> it feels like, oh, I don't want to take it off. No. <laughs> it falls over. He's got it. I said he's got it. Oh man. That does feel weird. It feels like you're falling through the air. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh. oh, that is cool. It's massive. I think I'm too small for it. I don't have anything going on, it's a blue ridge in the back. Can you? There you go. <laughs> that looks good. Now, it's quick as old, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Chris was just saying as well, with us, you know, we're heading down today to Asheville and then across to across west that essentially we're heading west after today after today, aren't we? He says so you should you should avoid the hurricane coming up and it's just gonna get nicer and nicer. We ready? Oh, Greg's not ready. Is. Greg. <laughs> <laughs> Are you? Uh, yeah, you're mic'd up, aren't you? On your camera. Are you mic'd up, Andy? Yes. Yeah, cool. For yeah. your camera, I mean. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yeah. That helmet suits your bike perfectly. It does. I got it. Suits yeah, it. The yeah, suits it perfect. <laughs> Beautiful morning. Perfect. Tinted visor on as well. Listen. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I bet we can safely say our tyres are perfectly scrubbed in after that last night. <laughs> we were really giving it yeah. some sort around some of them corners, weren't we? Bloody hell, yeah. Yeah, Chris is a lovely bloke, isn't he? He is. Yeah, he is really nice. Yeah. You always say that because you know he's got a big gun. It's nice though, isn't it, that people are, people are going out of the way just to come and have a ride with us. Yeah, oh yeah. It's amazing. Absolutely. Humbling, very humbling it is. Oh man. Oh. Look at that. I should have put a lay by there. Thank God for these bloody cameras, otherwise you know, there's too much to remember, isn't there really? 
I'll tell you what would be nice and all if you could get one of these cameras to live stream. So just as we're riding now, you could live stream it. That'd be that'll be the next thing, won't it? Oh, I'll get this. Do you know what? How how, um, how lucky are we to have this weather here? Yeah. Everyone said October will be best time. Oh man, we're so lucky. So lucky. Yeah. I'm quick, quick mosey it to the stop. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't go down there too far, it's just w watch out for bear shit. <laughs> I suppose you can always offer a glass tip beer when they come along. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Say again. It's beautiful. It is. <laughs> oh, did you see the stars last night? <laughs> Why don't you stop and look? Yeah, we have plenty of time to the stars last night. <laughs> <laughs> can I have another beer? No, just one beer. <laughs> we, we asked the. We were, we were desperate for a drink. So we just said, what a beer, what a beer. And Rich says, can I get two beers? Yeah, they had bottles. And, and the guy said, I only have one at a time. That, that, that could be that, state, state law. Oh, is it? It could be, yeah. Really? Because oh. that's me trying to drink two beers at a time. Both bottles of water. Why waste time going back to the bar? <laughs> exactly. Time management. It's like you were saying, like in England, in, in, in the cold time, you just go back to the bar and order four, don't you? Yeah. That'll, <laughs> that'll sort me out. Yeah, I just remember we were, we were getting uh, this little pint. Yeah. And then the last call we went up, we got this massive. You know, like a stein, isn't <laughs> <laughs> We had the big pitchers that hung like the big jugs. Yeah. You can get like four or seven pints in them or whatever. Yeah, I, I just remember. The four we're all pint like jugs. Like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do, you go, do you go to the pub? Yeah. Yeah. Twenty years since I've known for a pint. It's a free pint. He's the, he's the oldest guy. Never took Ireland. one. That's the last time I'm going to call you. That okay? Done. Yeah, <laughs> bro. Yeah. Until he will call you Greg again later. <laughs> on. Just <laughs> 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 attack him. <laughs> <laughs> like shaking. It's Graham. <laughs> It's not fucking difficult! <laughs> Screw you guys, I've had enough of you. I'm off. <laughs> ah, you see your, mi see your mile mark is on side. Just went past 12. So, peaks, peaks of otters 80. I think we'll try and push down to that a bit so we're not keeping Chris too long. Yep, coming by, Steve. Where, where are you going? Yeah. Where, where, do, you, where do you think you're going? In front of I. I'll have that, I know. Well, go on, Rich, go on. Get by. Make sure you leave room for panniers. Yeah. I'm really chuffed that we're still on target because I was worried yesterday thinking we're going to screw up a bit. Well, when we get to this place here, we'll have a good uh, belly full because we haven't had any breakfast really, have we? No. Well, I had no coffee. Right? I've had no, no even a coffee. I did manage a shave this morning though, so my helmet's not pulling my cheeks out. It was horrible yesterday. It kept, my whiskers kept grabbing onto inside of my helmet. I was like, Arr! It does look very, very cool, you know, behind seeing you a lot, uh, you know, all coming around these twisties. It's lovely. How picturesque is that as your house? Wowzers. Hey up. 
Hey! What do you reckon? Jump in? <coughs> Got to get a photo of that, haven't we? This to go with my uh, growing, ever growing sticker collection. Oh yeah. See you, Chris. There he goes. What a top man. Yes, sir. Did he show you? Two bullets come out and he just. Yeah, when he, he, he took the magazine out and he pulled the hammer back, tempted the bullet went pew, flying out. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. Holy shit. Wow. Nice, eh? That's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> crazy. All that mega ride in there and my microphone weren't plugged in. Oh really? That was cool. <laughs> yeah. Travelling across the states. Oh awesome. Nice to meet you. Yes sir. Hey, nice to meet you. You alright? Nice to meet you. Yeah, we shipped the bikes over from England. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, into I'm Canada. Glad came over. We're going down so far. Well, we're going right headed west, right to California, and back up the other side to Vancouver. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. You How long are you going to take you to do that? Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll film it all. Make like documentaries on YouTube of all, like, all the trips we've ever done and this should make a good one all being well. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. That it's been super so far. <laughs> yeah, great. Yeah. Well, y'all, y'all be safe. You, yeah, thank you. Is that recording? Ooh. Stand still. Yep. You off, pal? Uh. Maybury Mill. Yeah, it's a lovely little hill, that, isn't it? The wheels of industry are not turning today. Are we all ready to roll? Nope. No. What's in, Graham? Cheers, mate. Chuff that we've caught it lit up in the beautiful sunshine and all. Ready to roll? I am. I'm glad we um, glanced back and looked because otherwise we'd have gone straight past that. And to be honest, I only looked because the person in front of me on a bike were looking back at it. And I thought, oh, what are they looking at? Turn around, sorry. I thought, oh, jump on brakes. So we'll be riding the deal. We'll be riding the tail of the dragon tomorrow, fellas. Wow. Another belter. Are you going to put it up at that shrine? Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, brilliant. Like a picture, like yeah. Brilliant. That's an amazing idea. <laughs> I'll stand, <I'll laughs> and I'll stand there with my head all shameful down, like you know. Yeah. <laughs>
the original plan was to bypass most of this today and just just jump on a bit at the bottom today for like 50 miles or so just to say we've done it but we'd have missed all this yeah, and we'd, we'd have just been driving down a motorway all day oh, oh. it's one of those roads you just don't want to come to an end really it? like yeah carry on such nice bends they're nice bends because they're not too tight or anything are they no <laughs> it's hard work with the sun is right in front of you, isn't it? You can't see when you're coming into into brush like. Like Norway you gone. It is, yeah. <laughs> Camping up. Only a bit warmer. But cheaper. I wonder if this man will be wearing his piece tonight as well. I bet I bet he's brought one with him. Yeah. I just can't imagine him walking around like that like, like Chris today, walking around with a loaded gun just in his belt. No, like no, it's, it's scary, isn't it? It's a bit bonkers. It's just, it's just, well. And he, and he, he was cocking it to get all the bullets out of it to show us the gun, and one fell on the floor just randomly, like, you know. Shit, you know. But we're just as weird to him, aren't we, really, because we haven't got him. Yeah. Would he have you swallowed a doom book or something? <coughs> I don't know. <coughs> a doom book. <laughs> See about some fuel, don't we? Next little layby, I get a chance. So I'm going to pull up and see what Saturn have saying. Well, killer spiders have been at work again. Oh, Jesus! Yeah. Gotta find out what that is. Jesus! Handy place to stop. North Carolina. Hello. Still got a long way to go, still got about three hours to go and it's half past five. But today has been amazing. This, this Blue Ridge Parkway, it's amazing. It is amazing. Not only the sights that you can see right over there, But the riding road, absolutely amazing. So clean, so clear. No deb uh, debris on the floor, no anything. It's just perfect, fast, amazing roads. Not supposed to go fast, but they are. Just goes on and on and on. What does your next petrol station say? I've got one. It says about five mile, but it's pushing us that back, back that way. Fourteen miles. Which way? Brilliant. Yeah, brill. Yeah, I didn't want to. Um, I didn't want to push back any that way. It's just a bit stupid, isn't it? Here we go. Country store. Let's go to the country store. And sure. Oh shit. Oh shit. You can tell we're off at Parkway, can't you? <laughs> I tell you something that makes you appreciate how good that Parkway is. Confederate flag look. We're properly in the backwoods here, aren't we? Hey, I love it. Love it. 
I hope it's not, this petrol station is not a um, special BMW adventure destination. <laughs> It's very cool, I like it, but it's not, not ideal to be riding on really, is it? It looks like it's, it's under construction, I think. Look at that house. How beautiful is that? This just looks like that main road we just come off. That looks like that road, doesn't it? Liberty! Liberty! Non-highway use, what? Cash only. We're gonna have a right late night. It's gonna be after nine o'clock now. Still about 170 mile. Let's not forget what we came here for. <laughs> and like I say, if Manny's got anything about him, he's got beers lined up. <laughs> 10 for number six, please. I hope it all gets in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, thank you. <laughs> I say, Andy, you can already hear. Yes? They can't turn pumps on. They can't turn pumps on. You can already hear a difference in accent, can't you? Hi mate, you all right? Yeah, good, thank you. Are we working? Okay, you're on number uh, 10, on number six, you're ready to go. Thank you. It's all right. It's working now. Oh, cash register's working now. Here we go. We're pumping. Woohoo! We're way behind. It's 9 o'clock ETA from here. Yeah, but that's where I ain't doing anything. That's going to go up from there, isn't it? 170 mile, yeah. I might get a photo of that bad boy while we're here. That's amazing, I'm taking a photo of that. Can you, uh, you know, before you leave, can you give us a flash? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> It's on quickest way. Yeah, it's on the quickest way now, 170 mile. Just turns up, jumps out of his truck. Is it gone? Here he comes up. Where are you guys from? Where are you from? England. England. Yeah. Flown, flown these babies over on the plane. Really? Yeah, flew into Toronto and we were uh, riding all the way across to California and back up and out of Vancouver. Cool. Well, maybe you're going to get some warmer weather. <laughs> Take care, mate. Oh, top bloke. Let's let him do his thing. It was a blast. Ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Monster. So do we get back on Blue Ridge or what? I'm, se I'm selected to quickest way now and it's 10 past nine when we get there. That's without getting on Blue Ridge, but it means missing both them things. We're gonna be knackered, aren't we? All oh, right then, folks. Yeah, we're going to have to forfeit that last bit of Blue Ridge Parkway 
to get down to Manny, which is a big shame, but we have had a mega day, haven't we? 170 mile, I'll just smash this out then. Uh, 20 past six and we've still got through 170 miles, Jesus. Well, we've done a lot more at Parkway than we thought we were gonna do. Bye. Bye. North Carolina. Can't believe, can't believe we just, you know, sat here casually riding through North Carolina on our own bikes. Sorry Dave, we're not going to get a chance to go and do that what you uh, suggested. We just haven't got the time. We've had a fantastic day on the parkway though, absolutely brilliant. And ridden a lot further than we, we'd uh, planned to. So we're getting towards the end of our day. F I can't friggin' remember what day now. And you see us riding down through North Carolina. North Carolina. Accents have changed massively already from Pennsylvania to North Carolina massively. It's very cool. How's the trip going so far then? Very, very cool. We're all loving it. It's just uh, we've not had one early night yet. We'll get into a swing, I'm sure, next couple of days. But uh, normally we like to be um, at the digs by now, it's half six. But it's a big, big, big tour, isn't it? So we've got to put some effort in, some some hours. In fact, I might um, cut off for a bit, and I'll put back on when we are approaching our digs for tonight. All right. So by the power of technology, you've just now done 150 miles in three, two, one, boom, and we're back. So that was a quick 170 mile, wasn't it? Well, I can tell you what's happened between then and now is I've nearly got knocked off my bike. Johnson City, yes! <laughs> um, I've nearly got skittled. And it's knocked the wind out of my sails. And it's totally my fault. Because we're all knackered. And we're still riding at nine o'clock at night. Just to get to this campsite. Um, we had to pull off the motorway to go and get fuel and it was a bit of a we pulled off and then went into this bit of a built up area and they were a bit awkward and they were like a central reservation and I, I'd gone onto the wrong side not the wrong side of the road but the wrong side of the central reservation um, instead of going to petrol station I went to turn into like what was a I don't know like a Mc, went to McDonald's but that kind of thing and um, halfway into it, realising that I was, I'd not, I was not going towards the petrol station, I just didn't check behind me, and I like swung over a lane, and um, a car, were, a car were coming fast, and um, I just totally didn't see him. I heard the massive screech, and uh, he locked up right behind me, and I just managed to pull my throttle back to speed away from him, and I put my hand up to say sorry. But thank God he didn't hit me. Thank God he was a good driver and he was switched on because that was totally 100% my fault and um, it, it shit me up a bit, to be honest. And lad said, I don't know how lucky I was because he was, I know he was close to me, very close, because I could see him out of the corner of my eye when I heard screech. And they said they thought he'd hit me. Enough of this driving at night stuff. I can't believe we're still driving at nine o'clock at night. Anyway, we're just coming up to the campsite where we're hoping that uh, we're, we're just about to finally meet Manny. He's been there since about three o'clock, I believe. We're hoping he has got the beers lined up for us. But yeah, that did really, really, really shit me up. Not, there's no other reason other than I just didn't see him. Been, we've done a lot, we've done about 400 miles today. And we've now gone, uh, where are we, three days, four days in. And we've done about 1,300 miles so far. 
Oh dear me. I'm ready to get off. I'm ready to get off the bike today. Especially now after that. North Carolina. Petrol station for morning. Yeah, it's probably not my confidence that has, folks. That might be it up there. It's up here on the right, eh? Here he is. Oh. All you gotta do is just drive around. How you doing, Rick? How are we doing? You doing all right? Make a big loop, come down the first road, and you'll see my bike down there. Okay. This is how I feel this morning. <laughs> I ain't gonna try to, I'm not trying to be hateful, but Egon looks like shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's a compliment, thank you. I mean, he looks like someone will beat the hell out of him. <laughs> <laughs> so we joined up with Manny, and he's got us this beautiful little um, log cabin with all the amenities. It's not bad for the money. I mean, No, it's brilliant for money, yeah. I mean, for the money. That's we try to stay out of just because... You know, you're going to ride, you're not going to yeah. stay and yeah. has unlimited hot water in the showers. And I mean, all you got to do is take a sleeping bag. But see, y'all little, we don't need sleeping bags here. I got a liner. Yeah. And it packs down mm -hmm. to nothing, so. Um, we don't have that weather like y'all do over there. He's so cool, isn't he? Yeah. so cool. <laughs> <laughs> 